I know you're not supposed to have favorites when it comes to children, but for trucks, I just can't help it. The Ford Super Duty is my all-time favorite truck, and I've owned two of them in 2017 and 2018. So, the fact that the 2020 is out and they didn't change a ton, they only made it better, is super exciting to me, and that's why I'm excited to talk to you about the new Morimoto XB 4 projector LED headlights for the 2020 and up, Ford F-250, 350, 450, Super Duty. If you've been paying attention to the new design of the Ford Super Duties, you're going to see that for the most part the front end hasn't changed a lot. But there are some subtle differences that make this headlight different than the 17 to 19 version. For your 2020 and up Ford F250, 350, 450 Ford Super Duty, you have to go with the new type of headlight. But even though it's a new design and a new headlight, you're in luck because Morimoto has a new headlight that fits your truck. Introducing the Morimoto XB LED Quad Projector Headlight. This thing is full of bells and whistles and major performance upgrades that you're not gonna wanna miss. One of the biggest upgrades that this new LED projector has over your stock reflector headlights are the projectors themselves. Most projector headlights have one or two. If they have four, they're half low and half high. This thing has quad LED projector low beams. It has four projectors on the driver's side, four projectors on the passenger side. That means when you flip on low beam, you have eight LED projectors for low beam. But that's not all. When you go to high beam, the bottom two projectors on each side of the truck are bi-LED, which means they flip open to create more light for a quad LED projector high beam. These things are absolutely insane when it comes to light output. But even though that's the most important part of a headlight upgrade, they also do a really good job changing the style of your truck. Think about the way your truck looks with these big chrome reflector headlights versus this blackout projector headlight. If you didn't get the premium package for a lot more money, this is a great way to improve the look and performance and safety and driving experience of your truck. Aside from the way it looks, there's also some really cool LED integrations. First of all is the startup sequence. Every time you fire these things up, they're gonna give you an animated two-stage startup sequence and check this out, it's gonna blow your mind. You're gonna wanna turn on your headlights just to watch this effect happen and all your friends are gonna go nuts. There are three more LED features that you have to know about before we show you how to do the install. Number one is the parking light. On your old headlights, this parking light was an incandescent light bulb behind an amber reflector. On the Morimoto XB headlight, it's a built-in LED system. Secondly is a daytime running light. On your original halogen reflector headlights, you don't have a modern DRL. That changes with the XB. All the way around the perimeter on the top and the bottom, and the Y-shaped accent in the middle, it acts as a true modern OEM style daytime running light. What that means is, during the day, with your headlights off, that DRL is on full blast and it is super bright. It's gonna totally change the look of your truck even during the day. Then, when you turn your headlights on, everything dims down to 50% so that the DRL doesn't overpower your headlights. Bright headlights, dim DRL. And when you turn on your turn signal, that same daytime running light flips to amber to tell everybody which direction you're going in traffic. The great thing is you get to customize the turn signal look. You can either have a standard blink or a sequential scrolling turn signal. These two options make it easy for you to decide how wild you want your truck to be. Easily, the most important part of any headlight upgrade is that the new headlights should be brighter than the old ones. Luckily, we got that covered. Your original halogen reflector headlights at 25 feet only measured 340 maximum lux. That's not a lot of light. That's really quite pathetic, and if I was towing something with this truck, I'd honestly be concerned that I can see enough going down the road. The beam pattern looks like your typical reflector halogen beam pattern. It has that weird shape like the older Super Duties do as well. 
But check out what happens when we flip on the low beam on the Morimoto XB LED with four LED projectors. Now that's what we're talking about. That's insane. This thing gives your truck a modern looking projector beam pattern that looks like all the other high end cars on the road, but it's also 214% brighter than your old headlights. That alone is worth the upgrade, let alone all the other benefits these headlights bring your truck. When we flip the old halogen headlights to high beam, we get a little bit of an increase in brightness up to 510 maximum lux. That's better, but it's still not as bright as some vehicles low beam. When you're on a dark road, pulling a big trailer, you need to see what's in front of you and what's coming up fast. That means more brightness. That's what you get with Morimoto. The high beam on the LED headlight comes in at 1,270 maximum lux, which is 149% brighter. These headlights are gonna make you look good during the day and drive safer at night. It's pretty obvious that everybody with one of these trucks should be using this headlight. So now let's show you how to do the install. Thanks for sharing, Chris. Now let's move on to the installation. Step one, pop the hood. Now that the hood's open, we have access to the 14 clips that are holding on the radiator cover. Let's get popping. We'll take this one off on the intake here. With the 14 clips removed, we'll lift up on the intake duct here, take that off, and then we'll remove the radiator cover, set that aside. To remove the grill, we'll need to access the 10 millimeter bolts behind these two black pieces here. We'll take our wedge removal tool, gently pry those off. Onto the driver's side, pop this off. With the lower grill bolts removed, we can take off the top ones here and there. With the top two bolts removed, we can move on to the six that are holding on the grill. We we'll use our 10 millimeter ratchet here and get to work. With all the bolts removed, we're ready to take the grill off. It may be helpful to have a wedge tool. There are clips on the sides here holding the grill in place. So we'll work that in on the side. With the clips removed and the fasteners pulled, we're ready to take the grill off. We'll do so by applying force. Comes right off. With the grill removed, we'll move on to the two bolts that are holding on the headlights, which are between the bumper and the fender. Depending on which day your truck was built, there might be a big enough gap to fit in an actual power drill, or you can use a ratchet. With the rubber pulled back, you should be able to get a drill in here, thanks to the fact this truck was built on a Friday. Plenty of room. We'll take that out. Now we'll go over to the other side and remove the other 13 millimeter bolt. With those lower bolts removed, we're ready to take off the top two, which are also 10 millimeter. And then we're ready to remove the headlight. With all the bolts removed, we're ready to lift up this tab here. We're gonna push down, apply pressure, so that way it releases from the fender on the side there. Kind of push down, and then ready to take it out. To remove the plugs, we'll push down this clip, pull it out like so on the low beams, pull it out. Then we'll twist our turn signal bulb here to hear it click out. And then our side marker, not to forget. Then we're ready to take the headlight off the truck. We'll move over to the other side and follow the same process. With the factory headlights removed, we'll now take our DRL harness and start the wiring process by putting this fuse tap into your fuse panel. All right, we'll go to the passenger side and reach back here, pull down these two tabs, which pops the fuse panel out. Just 
work it out. It's real tight in this engine bay. And now we have access to the fuse panel. We'll be removing fuse 16, which is located here on the panel, right next to the bolt that's holding in the actual fuse box. Now you can take the fuse tap and put it in fuse 16 in the location we just removed. Now that you've got the fuse tap installed, we can put the cover back in place, which is super fun. You just kind of fish it in there, jiggle it into place a little bit, and uh, click it in. The DRL harness has two connections coming off of it. A shorter one, which will go to your passenger side, and you'll hide it behind your core support here to plug it into your headlight. Then we'll take our longer side, fish it through the core support, and pull it down through the driver's side headlight area. You'll want to hide it as best you can obviously not near your fan, then we'll pull it through the core support so that it comes out on the driver's side. With your wiring all set up and staged, you're ready to bring your headlight over here and get it installed. They'll come plugged in, ready for sequential action, but if you don't want this feature and want them to blink normally, we can simply unplug this and then wrap the connectors to prevent them from getting moisture in them. Myself, I love sequential, so I'm going to plug that back in, making sure that clicks in place. We'll plug in our turn signals here, making sure you hear that distinctive click sound, like so. Then we'll take our low beam connector, plug that in to the factory connector here, clicking again. Take our parking light here, plug that right in, okay. And then we'll take our DRL harness plug, put that right into that location. With that all wired up, you want to test it and make sure everything is working properly before installing it back onto the truck. Now that you've finished up the wiring on the driver's side, move over to the passenger side, follow the same procedure, test it, and we'll install it back onto the truck. You'll notice an extra low beam plug on both sides. We'll want to tape this up and make sure it's protected since we won't use it. Now that you've finished up wiring and tested everything, you're ready to install it onto the truck. You'll want to start by lining up the bottom here, making sure that's in place. Make sure everything is nice and tight, clicked in. Then we'll put the bolts back on, button everything up. So if you have a 2020 and up Ford Super Duty and you're looking to upgrade your headlights to the most badass ones on the market with sequential turn signals and 214% more output, Morimoto's got you covered. To see more of these in action, follow us on social media and be sure to like and subscribe this video. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the road.